suddenly I am weeping and sobbing in front of thousands of strangers, but I am still singing in a language they cannot understand. What I want to say is this is a cry for help. I am, tr I am tired of singing. I am tired of not being understood. I am drowning in a pool of my own blood and everyone think it is part of the show. Everyone claps, standing ovation, encore, encore, encore. I glance down at the front row and my father is gone. And suddenly I am alone, alone in a room full of screaming people asking me to sing one more song. In my worst nightmares, my father leaves me at the altar. The lights go off, the curtains fall to the floor. I wake up and the red blooms over my chest, following me to the bathroom, to the sink, to the girl in the mirror. In my worst nightmares, my father follows me through the night until he stops. He carries me in his hands to bed until I fall. He reads me fiction stories to sleep until his voice cracks. In my worst nightmares, he loves me until he runs out of love. He says he's proud of me until it dies in his throat. In my worst nightmares, he leaves me alone in front of the world and he doesn't come back. Dad, I do myself terrible things to survive. All I have are the memories and all they do is haunt me. Every night, I crawl into bed and beg the past for some quiet as my eyes ache with unshed tears. I will never forgive you, Papa, but I will never love any man as much as I love you. The way you bring out the best parts of my poetry, but I really hate to write about you like this. I have been missing you longer than I knew you. I love you for whatever love is worth anymore. And I hope one day love doesn't hurt me the way it hurts me to love my dad. I was supposed to cry to lovers about him. I cried to lovers. I was supposed to cry to him about lovers. I cried to lovers about him. Dad, I'm telling strangers everything I was supposed to tell you. I'm telling the whole world everything only you was supposed to know. People keep asking me if it still hurts, if I still lack your existence when I'm in my mid-twenties. But no, it doesn't hurt. Okay, maybe a little. Sometimes, I guess, only when I think of you more than a day. Even when I think it's over. It hurts when I see daughters laughing with their fathers, when they keep their secrets, when they are their best friends. <laughs> it hurts because that was your intention. It hurts because in all the choices my dad had, he chose to leave me. But again, can we just be honest with each other for a minute? Did I cry too loud when I was a baby? Or I was just too much for you to hold in your hands? Did I say, Mama before Dada. I, I, I wonder where did I go wrong? Everyone makes mistakes, but how do I stop being one? Thank you.